Satellite measure uh, solar radiation, which is bounced from the Earth's surface. If vegetation is very good, lush, very green, vigorous, we see that invisible part, vegetation absorb a lot of solar radiation due to the photosynthesis process and development of vegetation biomass. If it's absorbed too much, it means it is reflect very little back into the space. So we have a big difference between visible and between near infrared. And the difference between these two create a basis for vegetation index. If this difference is very big, it means that vegetation is green, vigorous, and very healthy. If this difference is very little, it means that either we see at the bare soil or vegetation is under big stress due to drought conditions. I am Dr. Felix Kogan. I am working for the Center for Satellite Application and Research, where we take our satellite data and try to interpret that. Before we identify drought on four kilometer resolution, and we understand sometimes we receive requests from farmers, how it work on my farm? And farm is very small compared to four kilometer resolution. Now we can see every, at least half a kilometer. We can do precisely a lot of area where the drought is happening. We can see a little bit two, three weeks earlier drought beginning than we had before from old satellite. We can identify more precisely drought intensity and drought duration. These data are available for us immediately. They passed and these data are in our pocket. Okay? In the past, we have to wait sometimes one or two weeks before data come for our understanding and our analysis. The data information from VIRS are very great development of new technology. They tell us so much information about how healthy is our Earth. That is very important for economy, it's very important for politics, it's very important for human health and for sustainability of our Earth.